What's going on there guys? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the SenStation Pocket Dock, which retails for $29.99. Let's get started. Now I'm sure many of you last week saw my video review on the SRS iWOW 3D, and rather you saw how underwhelmed I was by it. Now, this is very much like the SenStation uh, keep in mind the size is quite significant, and this only worked with iOS. This is compatible with iP all iPod models post the fourth generation iPod circa 2004. So if you've got an iPod, if you've got an iPhone, if you've got an iPad, it's going to work with this little bad guy. And uh, it's very amazing. Okay, so we got our SRS. What is the point of this? If you don't know this, you need to learn. The audio quality on the iPod is very mediocre. It's very much mocked in the audiophile uh, community and not so much because the players are undercapable, but because Apple doesn't put a lot of power through the headphone jacks and they don't put good headphone jack components in there. So you get a pretty mediocre sound out of your iPod. Now most people don't care. They could care less about good quality audio because they're using a pair of $20 skull candies at best. And so really what it comes down to is, well, who gives a crap? Well, if you're using headphones that are over 60 or 70 or 80 or 90 or hundred dollars, you're gonna notice that you know the MacBook or your computer or your TV may sound better at outputting quality uh, in terms of audio than your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad. So this is really the game changer and it, um, it allows you to get good quality audio out of the bottom of your iPod. Now, this is a little bit different from the iWOW 3D in the sense that this is not really compatible with headphones. It is if you do a two-step process, and this is how I've been using this little guy. I've been going out of my iPod Nano 5G, which, by the way, is still my favorite iPod ever made. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. And then what it's going from there is it's going into a headphone amplifier, specifically the Fio E7, which, by the way, there will be a review on that in the coming weeks. And then that's going to my Hi-Fi Man HE500 uh, headphones. And I get an excellent sound from this somewhat otherwise mediocre source. Now, obviously that's not a practical use for everyone, so what would this be for if you can't control the volume? Well, the good thing about you not being able to control the volume is that means it's a raw, unbalanced line out. So you get seriously the best quality you can out of this little device, and it's significantly better. So the real applications for this would be in car audio, boat audio, and home stereo audio. One of the funny things is we like refuse to spend $100 on headphones or we say, oh, that's ridiculous, whatever. And then we'll go spend 5K on getting a THX certified Dolby Digital 7.1 surround sound stereo system. And then, you know, the point of it and the funny thing about it is, is we spend all this money on professional stereo systems or car audio, and then we use a lousy source. Well, it's not just one thing. Sure, you could buy a $4,000 car stereo setup, but if you're going straight out of the iPod, it's going to sound like poop. Well, it may not sound like poop, but it's not going to sound as good as it could as if you went through this little guy. So I've been using this in both my car and on my headphones, which is a little bit of a rinky dink, jerry rigged situation. But let's say car audio. What does this do that really allows for uh, the, or really justifies the $29.99 price tag? Well, first of all, this thing's teeny. It's very well built. And uh, on the bottom, you're going to find two things. You're going to find a line out and then you're going to find a mini USB port. Now, first of all, let's talk about the mini USB port because you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what is that for? You can charge your iPod, your iPhone, your iPad, and not only that, but you can also sync to your computer, which is excellent because let's say you want to leave this on at all times or let's say you only have one iPod cable and uh, you don't want to lose it or you're traveling and you want to use a little bit less weight. Um, this is just a lot cheaper or mini USB is a lot cheaper than that of the 30 pin dock connector cables, assuming you get one officially. And so that's one of the nice features is you don't need that specific cable in order for this to work. You just need this little guy and uh, any other cable that came off your hard drive or, you know, your I mean, seriously, mini USB is used on pretty much everything. But that's not really the reason I love this. The reason I love this is because of this. This is a high quality, unbalanced audio output. And we already talked about this and the features and why you'd want it. You get your iPod, you plug it in, and then you're going to use one of the two cables that they provide. You can also use other cables if that's not really what floats your boat, but uh, the ones they include are pretty dang good. And I've been using them and I've been loving them. First of all, we have this one. Uh, this little guy is a 3.5 to 3.5 male to male millimeter headphone jack. That was poorly worded, but that's aside the point. One end goes into the send station here. Boop. And then one end goes into whatever um, your 
input is on your so like for instance i have an auxiliary input on the front of my stereo system in my car i plug this in and you get way better quality out of this setup than you would out of this setup using the regular headphone jack so that's really the advantage in the car they also provide a 3.5 millimeter to rca both of these cables are six feet long which again is very nice because you can have someone in the back of the car controlling the sound or whatever and there's a little bit more leeway in that very high quality cables. I haven't experienced any issues with them whatsoever. They have a nice little cable management deal on here. The only issue and the only thing I can really complain about these is they're pretty thin. So over time they may wear and tear. Uh, they don't seem like the highest, well they are high quality but they don't seem incredibly durable. So durability may be an issue and that's something that you may want to look out for in this. But really the $29.99 is for this and this performs admirably. You plug this in and I actually have my home stereo system hooked up, well, my room stereo system rather, hooked up behind me and I'm gonna take the RCA inputs and I'm just gonna give you a little demonstration. Hold on, let me plug these in. Of what uh, this little guy can do. So uh, let's turn on the iPod and we will select the song. This is an excellent song. And you may notice, I don't know, you may not, but you may notice that it sounds substantially better than that of going straight out. Uh, I, I can't really demonstrate, I guess I could demonstrate to you. Now, uh, basically, just trust me, <laughs> the sound out on this is magnificent. Sure, it looks a little bit wonky, it's a little bit weird, but if you're in a car, uh, if you're using a car stereo system or a home audio system and you want to get the best, true, 100% most amazing sound you can, you definitely got to go with the Send Station Line Out Pocket Dock. Um, from Stenstation.com. This retails for $29.99, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's, it's a robbery at that price. You're stealing it from them. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Get the Sensation Pocket Doc. It's a good purchase. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.